To get started with every single dashboard you'll ever do, you need to start by loading the data. So to get your hands on the data, you do need to be enrolled just as a reminder. Now in this video, I'm going to go through the data sets themselves and the story behind them so you know how to use them. The first step in every single Tableau analysis, every Tableau visualization, anytime you're using Tableau is the data. You have to feed data into Tableau to actually visualize, right? Because you got to remember Tableau sits on top of your data. So the one we're going to use is a data set I have um, created for this first uh, chapter. So let's go through it first. So we've got some segments here and let me put a filter actually, so you can see what's in it. So we've got some segments. So there's three different types of segments. You got category, three different types, subcategory. There's about, you know, 15, 20 types. You've got different cities in here. Cool. You've got order dates. Okay. So these are all broken up by dates, postal code, region, shipping status, um, state, and we've got some numbers here on the right side as well. So profit, quantity, and sales. Now, one thing to notice, and we're starting really simple, is that this data is ultra clean. It very rarely looks like this in the real world. So for the beginning stages, if you want to load up your own data, just make sure you've cleaned it as much as you possibly can. Make sure you're giving it proper names at the top. Things like postal code, state, you know, location-based kind of names actually do matter uh, in Tableau because you're actually telling it it's a location and it lets you do mapping a little bit easier. But we'll get into that more about that later. As much as you can, keep it clean. The other thing you want to do is the uh, labels or the headings, or we call them, you know, field headings or column headings, um, they have to be at row one. So if you have extra ones like that, just simply delete them in your data set. And that is it. So that's our Excel file. We're going to save this and close it. I'm going to open up Tableau Viewer. So we're going to use Tableau Viewer for this. If you have Tableau Desktop, by all means use it. It'll be the same process. And there are two main ways you can load up your data. We already know it's going to be Excel. So we can actually just click on this button right here. So if you do that, it's going to open up the dialog and you just navigate to this file you've just downloaded. So I'm going to double click that and go open. There you have it. And then Tableau takes us to this view. And this view is the data source view. And there's kind of three main sections. This Oops, hang on, I just moved the entire window, hang on. Uh, this first section right here, this talks about your connection to the file itself. So what it tells me is it's connected to this Excel file. Uh, it has this sheet inside the Excel file, right? And that's basically what it's telling me. This union, don't worry about it just yet, doesn't matter, right? If you have multiple sheets inside your Excel file, it'll just list them here going like that. Okay, so that's the first section. The second section is this one right here, and I kind of call this my canvas. And this is basically you telling Tableau what data set do you actually want to analyze. And it's kind of confusing because you're like, well, isn't this my data set? Well, no, not really. That's the file, but the data set is the sheet itself. So when you have multiple sheets, it actually looks like this. It just looks empty. So what you do is you bring this one in here. Okay, so we just grab that and we drag and drop. And you'll notice with Tableau, most of it's drag and drop. So we bring it in and you see it's now in here for our analysis and we can preview all the data. We'll get more into these controls later on once we start doing kind of more data review and all that. But for now, all you really need to look at is, is the data the same? So I tend to just eyeball it, you know, go, okay, it's about the same. You know, I'll scroll down, make sure there's no issues. Uh, this data set's super clear. Uh, super clean so you're not gonna have issues like that and then the other thing you really want to check is making sure that numbers get stored as numbers and then anything else gets stored as well anything else so the numbers we had were these profit quantity and sales and what you'll notice is if I zoom in it has this symbol right the hashtag means it's a number so Tableau is smart enough to read your data set and allocate the data type to this and data types are super important for now, these are all correct. If you have a number that you want it to be recognized as a number, you can simply click on a logo right here and just change it to number decimal or number whole. We're going to have a whole nother section on um, just data types, right? Because they're really important. But basically, once you've loaded it, you're ready for visualization. Okay, so what you do is you click on this sheet one, this very alluring orange, 
and you now are in visualization mode. Cool. So that is kind of the first way to load up your data by searching for it. So let me close this and open a fresh one. I'll show you the other way. So this way is kind of how I do it all the time. So I have here the file I am connecting to. So what I do instead is I can just grab it, drag it and drop it anywhere on Tableau, anywhere, straight up anywhere. So I'm just drop it here and Tableau will do the connection for me. Everything else is the same and I can just go straight into visualization mode. There we have it. And that's how you load up your data set.